Hello guys and welcome, I hope everybody is doing great. In this week video I want to show you how to import uh, customers or uh, add a customer to your store. So let's go directly to your admin panel in, uh, in, in your customers section. You, uh, this is a fresh install here, you basically have uh, two choices. One is to import customers uh, using a CSV file and then add a customer. You also have the third option also, uh, which is just a customer creating a, um, an account by itself on your store. Before you do all that, make sure you change your settings. Like right now, uh, my accounts are disabled. So make sure you go into your settings, then customers, I mean checkout. And in customer accounts, make sure you select optional or required. Uh, most of the time it will be optional because you do not want to force someone to have an account in order to do a quick checkout on your site. Um, but if you do require to all of them having an account and not being able to, uh, to proceed as a guest, then uh, select the accounts are required. So make sure that is saved go back over here and let's refresh that so accounts are optional the easiest thing for you to uh, to do even if you do an import customer let's just click on it um, there's no let me just see I'm, I'm looking for a for a sample um, okay so here you can download a sample so just go ahead and, and and click on this save file then we can we can open it and this is what your CSV file will look like so first name last name email the company address city province or state um, country code zip phone if it accepts marketing or not total spent amount, total orders, tags, and if you wanna have a note. So let me just pause this few seconds. I'm just gonna add some more, uh, some more customers, just two other customers, and uh, we'll get back to you. So here they are, uh, just two, uh, two extra ones. Um, again, not all information is, is required. What I did is, uh, for this one in particular, I, I added a few tags, because I'm gonna use them later make sure you save it and go back to your admin panel uh, this link I'm gonna put it in the description so you can get the uh, the CSV template quickly so go back over here if you want to import just do uh, the, the browse let me go back to downloads and CSV okay um, you have the option to override existing customers but in our case we have no customers but just later on uh, if you can override customers that have the same email in case you change some of the information their first name address or whatsoever uh, it will replace those with the same email if not it's just gonna uh, it's just gonna create new ones so let's import this so customers are imported let's just refresh the page and we have three customers why don't we have four that i don't know let's just see why address country is not a valid country okay United States is just US so let me just adjust this US click save then B okay so New York USA this one we don't know 
okay so as i said this in this case location was not important it's it's, it's not required um, so this is our first step this is the first way we can use to um, to add customers import them you can also add them manually um, directly in Shopify by clicking add customer so let's do this one also okay so that's how you can manually add a, a customer now I have this one also here and from California so from here you can also export if you want your customers um, you have some options to obviously edit edit them um, you can remove tags add tags or delete the customers um, edit customers um, okay so you can add your fields here you can do a bulk edit of, of your customers same way you can do it for your products um, so here you can do a bulk edit you can add more fields if you want if you want to change the, uh, the, the, the last name for example you can add it there and once you do um, let's just add a tag um, I don't know, store so we just add it, we save it, and it's it's there. So you can edit them, you can you can delete, you can do a search also here. Um, if you're looking for someone in particular, it's gonna show you just those. Uh, you can filter the customers, you can filter them by all these options: money spent, number of orders, placed on order, date created. Abandon an order account status tagged with located in um, Those are self-explanatory so you can you can definitely do that If you want for example to show just what's in Canada You will have them here the only um, The last step for you if you imported customers or added the customer one by one is to actually send an invite because Shopify changed the way they uh, they, they they proceed with this and their their, their servers or, or whatever else they did you cannot bulk invite any more customers so what you have to do is go one by one and and click on the three dots here and then you will be able to send an invite so send account invite yes yes blah 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 you can um you can add your own message this is a test message okay looks good send notification so that's what you will have to do uh with each and every single account uh it will send them an invite and uh, like that they will be able to actually create a password so this is okay if you have uh, a few customers if you have a thousand customer uh, that will take you a lot of time uh, so in that case i invite you to take a look at some apps that exist or maybe contact a developer uh, for you to bulk send uh, invitation to your new customers that you added so let me just pause here a little bit we're gonna take a look at the email we just got it so this is what it will look like when your customers receive an invite and if we go click on it will be asked to just create a password for our um, for an account so we do that activate account okay so that's active and for you as for you as a store owner you're gonna be able to see it um, as has an account so
okay so here is my account that is uh, enabled right now so that's it so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below you also have there my information my email skype uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, everything is there. So don't be shy, ask me your questions. Also, um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing videos like this one each week. So like that, you will be sure to not miss any of them. Also, uh, take a look, I have a how-to class uh, for you to learn CSS and uh, learn how to design your, uh, your store and uh, if you also need my help for a full website analyze please uh, let me know i offer this service that's it again for this week hope you enjoyed it and see you next week